Goodwill. It's rainy. I got a new phone. No. Oh. Wow. Look at that. The professional. Ennio Morricone. On vinyl. Why is it $10? It's probably worth more than that, but that is really cool to see. Ah. Oh. I have to take a look at that. All right. Here we are. Teacher's pet. Teacher's pet. I've heard of that. Asking for a friend. Teacher's pet. Disney. All right, my animated people. What is this? <laughs> 74 minutes. Is this a movie or a show? It's a family film. Weird. Maybe I haven't heard of that. I don't know. <laughs> Boondock Saints. This looks like a lot of the same crap. Vertical Limit. This Martin Campbell film I saw in theaters. Oh yeah, I checked that last time, I think. Yeah. for today. Each star of season two. That looks terrible. From the team that brought us Degrassi. Ooh. No thanks. I was never a Degrassi fan. Lucas! That's out of print. I don't own it. Might be one I'm interested in keeping. 80s. Charlie Sheen, together forever. Yeah, I've looked at that before. Girls night. Scanning quick. A friend of mine at work said G-Force is good. Matt, if you're listening, I don't know about that, man. Talking hamsters. Anybody else like G-Force? Good old G-Force. Paw Patrol, more Paw Patrol. Secret of Men. Okay. Well, that's that. Down here. Secretary, I do have that. I think I have that one on Blu-ray. Oh, crusty ass bolt. Ugh. Bull Durham slipcover. Desperate living. What? John Waters. I thought it had the look of a John Waters film just by that little shot there. And wow. Wow. This is probably worth something. Oh, it's probably hard to find. That sucks. What do we got here? <laughs> None of these are in there. This instant star. I gotta look these up. Looks like shit, but. Yes. Jackie's back. Right, Robert Townsend. What? Tim Curry. Kind of for loose. I've never heard of it. It's water damaged, I think, but. Never heard of that. If it's water damaged and not scratched up, I'll probably snag it. Some of these old music DVDs are worth something. At least some new ones in like this area here. But I'm gonna check these. I'm gonna check that. It's a shame that these are. Um, do I have anything else? Oh yeah, Lucas. So I'm gonna check those. I'm gonna look around a little bit more here. Here we have a 
stack of 360 games. It looks like it's being picked though. It, it's all sports games for the most part. But I think I'm gonna snag Red Faction Gorilla. So, I love playing the original for the PS2, really liked it. Never played this one though. I think this is a third person action game. As opposed to the first one, which was a first person. So check the disc on there. I also found Canadian bacon. I have a sealed copy, so I'm going to grab this and sell off my sealed copy. Here's a World 3. I don't think I have that one either. I'm going to grab a couple of these. Let's see. Nine and a half weeks. This was hard to find at one point. Dang it. Okay. All right. All right, we are here at the ReStore. Let's see if they got anything. All right, so sadly, I think the ReStore, at least here, has stopped taking movies. I mean, we have some movies here, crap here, but... Uh, they're just dwindling away at this point, selling slowly, so I'm not even going to bother to look because I've looked at these a hundred times over. So, what a shame. What the f***? What the f***? What? This? I know the film, I've seen the movie. This is Mario Van Peebles' crime vampire movie. Directed by Anthony Hickox. This is like a bootleg. Chi this is like a Chinese VHS of Full Eclipse. Like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, this is so obscure. <laughs> this is so obscure. It's in there too. Wow, cool. Look, it's got a shot from the film. Is this a VHS or is this a beta? I think it's a VHS. Yeah, it's a VHS. Wow. Um, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna buy this just because it's so odd i can't close it i need two hands weird man weird all right so this has to be one of the oddest things i've ever found in the wild now upon closer inspection it seems to be south korean korean a korean bootleg maybe not a bootleg maybe a legitimate copy of full eclipse such an odd thing now yeah it's official restore is not taking dvds or anything like that anymore i'm not sure about video games he said maybe so, uh, is what it is, but for now, on to the next. All right, we are at the Salvation Army, but you wouldn't know it yet because we're approaching from a different angle. Whoa. Let's see if they have anything exciting. It's been a while. Wow. Well, uh, not looking too exciting here. I guess they're really not taking movies these days. Uh, you never know. Yeah, I shrunk the kids. New and sealed. Yeah, maybe I could get something for that. Jeremy. That's weird. I've never even heard of this. Definitely have to snag that if it's a uh, good shape. Shake. More horse. Sealed. Again, sometimes sealed, you know, sealed movies can make a few bucks on them. A little bit of time. At least pay for the one that I'm interested in. Oh, that's how we do it. At least pay for it. You know, we always gotta check in the secret area. It usually has just a bunch of shit. And a bunch of shit. Right. Well, I'm gonna check out these three. All right, we at the Goodwill, and we've got garbage on the floor. I know, I'm nuts. Well, it makes me feel like I'm doing my part when I pick up a little some assholes garbage that they threw on the ground anyway let's see if goodwill has anything fun and exciting garbage right there it's really easy people really easy oh look at the wide angle lens man hell yeah on a phone it's a better it's a wider lens than my camera <sighs> look at that awesome and there are the movies actually this caught my eye the boomstick edition which probably still fetches a bit I'm happy with my Screen Factory blue, but let's see. 
whole grain baking. It's a big book. That old Charlie Pride. story mode you don't say never played minecraft never got into it i'm kind of interested though i think it's like an adventure game a couple enter shredder there some smurfs i think we have a bunch of smurfs already i'm not mad in 13 not quite late enough for me to pick up Zombie too. This is Fulci's zombie, but wow, you never see that. Of course, I have it on Blu-ray, but it's pretty cool. I'll be snagging that. The condition is good. Looks like somebody had a horror collection, Dracula. So hopefully they have some more obscure ones here. Baby Boom, that's out of print. I already have a copy, so that'll be fodder. Yep, there's some more horror. A lot of the big ones, of course. Still, be worth picking up. Conditions are right. Giveaways, trades, etc. Always thinking ahead. Oh, that's the original. Okay, cool. These have got to be uh, still catching something, right? Okay, it's kind of broken, but hey. There we are. It's kind of... Okay. Not a living dead. Again, this person had all the classics. The Hellboy. Three discs. That's kind of cool bootleg of the game, but nope, no thank you. Oh, that could be good fodder, that's saleable. Excuse me, sorry. Sealed. A lot of these I have, guys, but you know, I'm picking them up for the eBay. I like these kind of days because it pays for like, my entire month of hunting, usually. And yes, I do keep track, it's the only way I can do it. here without a print poison never heard of it check it out there's some cool additions dog on still fetching a bit maybe I don't think that's fetching anything yeah. James Allen Bob again it's out of print fetching a bit Is that a print? Just gonna pick up a bunch of these for giveaways. Godfather collection here. 
And of course, as usual, I've got work soon, so. Gotta get moving here. Got to get moving. Hello. Don't change your to beat. I have this, but it is complete. Let me know how the audio is got. Ooh, Spider-Man 3, how the audio is with this new phone. Ooh, that's, that's crusty. I need to sanitize now. That's my stack so far. Holy crap. Ooh. Volcano. Another out of print one. at least fetch in a bit because it doesn't have an American Blu-ray release for some godforsaken reason. Copy. I might be interested in that. Not sure. No, it's an early Denzel movie. The plot is questionable. <laughs> but uh might want to give it a shot at some point. Come on. Yeah, a lot of new things. As you, When you come as often as I do, it's easy to spot the new stuff. It's a two-disc Acorn series. Full love BBC and Australian TV. Not me though. Players ball. Okay. Yeah. I heard of that. Darius goes best. Let me know if I'm missing anything, guys, because I'm kind of picking up the pace because I gotta get going here. But And I'm gonna take a quick look behind. Of course, if there's anything, I'm gonna start recording again, but I gotta get running. I gotta check all these discs. Hello! <laughs> That's gonna do it for this thrifting. It was a pretty good one. Let's see what we got. All right, sorry for the low lighting here, guys. As per usual, I'll show you guys what I bought to sell um, for trade fodder, for uh, funding what I want. You guys know how I do. So all this stuff is stuff that I have on Blu-ray or elsewhere that I am getting rid of. Not going to go too deep into it. Somebody at the Goodwill had a horror collection, a lot of good stuff. A lot of stuff that fetches, you know, 8 to 12 bucks. Uh, some are a little bit more. Zombie 2, that's the probably the hardest to find one out of the whole bunch, which... I'm going to sell my sealed copy of Zombie, the Ultimate Edition, and upgrade to the 4K once both of those sell. Uh, Minecraft Story Mode, nothing I'm interested in. Wicker Man Jeremy, nothing I'm interested in. Um, I do have Baby Boom in, in a set. I just got to find out if that has the widescreen or the full screen. And then Burbs and Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. I'm going to be selling that off because I do have it. This might be a nicer copy than the one I have, though. So that's the stuff that I'm selling, and here's the stuff I'm keeping. So I picked up a sealed copy of Canadian Bacon, which is out of print, and I've had that copy since uh, since I bought it at, my father bought it at The Wiz back in like the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, so I sold that for like 25 bucks, actually, and, you know, just kept this 70 cent version, which is in perfect shape. So Canadian Bacon, still haven't seen that John Candy one. It's his last film. I hear not so good things about it. Um... Uh, Michael Moore film, actually. Gears of War 2, 3, and Red Faction Guerrilla. I'm a fan of the first Gears of War. Haven't played 2 and 3, believe it or not. And I'm a fan of the first <laughs> Red Faction. Haven't played 2 or 3, believe it or not. All very good condition. Perfect. Complete. Uh, just got to swap out the case on this or get that sticker off. Oh, wait. Is the sticker? Yeah, it's on the outside, I think. Well, there might be one on the inside, too. I got to figure it out. Lucas, I'm keeping this. I didn't have this in the collection. It's a little scratched. Not too bad, though. Definitely playable. Um, acceptable for the condition. This is an 80s Corey Haim and Charlie Sheen movie. Uh, Winona Ryder. Young Winona Ryder. This is, what, 1986, I believe it says. So pretty cool. Never seen that one. This was a weird one. I got to clean up the case. It's a little grody. Uh, 
don't know what that substance is up there. But it's water damaged and a little scratch, not too bad, but it's a Robert Townsend movie called Jackie's Back with Jennifer Lewis and Tim Curry. I mean, I've never even heard of this, so it's a shame that that John Waters film was not in the case because I definitely would have picked that up. It's out of print, hard to find, and I uh, haven't seen really any John Waters, I don't think, so Jackie's Back pretty cool and then we have one of the coolest oddest pieces i've ever found in thrifting I, i'd love to hear your guys opinion this is an anthony hickox film from the early to mid 90s i forget exactly when 93 i want to say uh called full eclipse where mario van peoples plays a uh, a detective or something that gets bit by what's he turning a uh, werewolf and it i believe it's where yes uh, and he becomes a werewolf detective guy and it's pretty neat um, <laughs> so that's the gist of the movie, but this is a, what appears to be a Korean release of this movie on VHS. I mean, it is so, this is so obscure. How did this end up in a restore in Clayton, North Carolina? You know, I love the image. I love the color. I mean, I've never even seen VHS this color, really. Not that I recall, at least it looked like a beta to me at first, but it's really neat. Um, didn't even look at the bind there. Wow, they put a lot of work into these. Very cool. Um, I have the film on DVD, which is hard to find, but this is just such a, a unique piece. I'm so glad to have found this. So definitely holding on to this. And last, but definitely not least, we have a French pressing of the French film Les Professionnels. And this is a the soundtrack, the score, which was done by Ennio Morricone. Of the sp of spaghetti western fame, so he did this little French film called Les Professionnels, and I've not seen this movie, and I have to track it down now. This is the vinyl, which is in perfect shape, guys. I'm going to show you the gatefold because it's pretty cool, perfect shape. I still need to throw it on the vinyl player to see if it uh, works well. I'm sure it will. Look at this, the gatefold. You got the actor there with the gun in his jeans. What an image. And then you have Synopsis du Professionnel in French, of course, here. So that is pretty cool. Like I said, great shape. It looks like the record's been played once, maybe, if that. Just got some dust on it. And I cleaned it up. It's looking beautiful. So I thought this was the coolest thing. I spent more at the Goodwill on one item than I think I ever have in $10 on this. But to me, it was well worth it. This is a one-of-a-kind item, at least, you know, out in the wild hunting. I mean, who the hell traded this in, even? I'd like to talk to them. Either way, that is the uh, the pickup. Not too bad today. Some weird stuff, but it was more so a day for me to uh, pick up stuff to sell and fund all this and more. So pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you all watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you've picked up recently in the last week or so out thrifting in the wild. I had a pretty good run today. I'm very happy. I'm going to make some decent money that'll fund the next couple trips, really. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos like it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the little bell for notifications. I also have a Patreon and t-shirts. Links are in the description below. Anyway, guys, I will see you all next time. Board Cyborg is...